started. My first thing is, um, is going to be my little closet. I had pretty much organized things up, guys, because I did not want you all to see things just looking all just out of pocket. So here it goes. This is how my closet is, okay? Let me see if I got it back far enough, okay? Um, on the side right here, you can see those are my conditioners that I use basically for my hair on a every day, all the time, as needed uh, situation. Uh, right there in the back, uh, you can see is my infusium, which that's something that I put back there because I don't have any type of cornrows in my hair with extensions, so I don't need that right now because that's basically what I use that for. Okay, but most, I did have it over here in the pile with the conditioners because it is something that I use. Now, this far back here in the back, right back here past these oils, is like some perfect results. Um, products that I used to use when I had a relaxer in which I no longer have a relaxer but um, I kept the products back there just in case you know sometime maybe my daughter-in-law who does have relaxer beads over and she probably might need some products to use in her hair or whatnot then there they will be okay now on here I just have my oils of uh, my go-to oils that I basically use is um, especially the almond oil, the grapeseed, I really haven't tackled with yet because they say it's great for when you're going to blow dry out your hair and press it and all that. Well, I have not did that yet, so the grapeseed oil has just been sitting. I have not used that, but here is my um, glycerin, which I use to mix up in my shea butters or my um, summertime spritz mix, in which I have in this little container right here. It's just glycerin water and maybe some almond oil okay and down there at the bottom i have uh is right here in this little container is some coconut oil so as you can see that the coconut oil is no longer solid that it has um somewhat liquefied on me it's still somewhat solid but it's it's also kind of like on a liquidy side too but this i get from my um, up the street round the corner beauty supply store and it's at a reasonable price for like maybe wait a minute, hold on I think it's on there it's for I think you can see it uh, about $2.99 I guess you can see that yes yeah, so that's how much it is all right and then this is just some shea my shea moisture spritz in which I pretty much keep that right there in line because my son likes to use that on a um, constant basis which you know he liked that and he also likes this uh curl milk also by uh shea moisture so i pretty much have those products to where he can reach them okay now right here in the front is basically like my shampoos and um that i have here in my cabinet okay i have shampoos other places but we'll get to that later but these are the ones that i had here in my cabinet and reason why i had these in my cabinet because these are basically the ones that i am not using as of right now but if i need to i got them to where i can just reach and grab them and go ahead and do what i need to do but this right here is for my granddaughter when she's over i use this for her and then this is her lotion so by she's not here i have that also where i can reach and get it so when i need to use it for her okay so that's really all that is and i have to say that this product right here it is great i really really love the shea moisture baby line it does have her skin just as nice and soft and this bath um this also you can wash their hair with it and you also can wash their body with it so you can't go wrong with that either i love both of them they both works great okay now mostly all this right here over here on this side uh, all like from the back there you see the Murray's lock lock I can't live without that stuff it is some good stuff when it comes down to doing your hair most of all this stuff right there is my styling products I there there's the um, the world of curls gel activator to my Hawaiian silky which almost is gone back there and there's like a jar of hair grease that I had and I'm not going to get rid of it because I still use grease but this is the main hair conditioner that I use in my hair on an all the time basis when it comes down to hair grease I love 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 still love that stuff and I still have it because that bottle was super sized and I've had that bottle for like ever okay and these are my gels as you can see I have the coconut oil Eco Styler. Uh, my friend just purchased 
that one for me <laughs> so I got another one of them and there is my kinky curly curling custard in which I have not used that up now when it comes down to the curls and all that these are the gels that I use is my herbal essence I really love this and here is another one which is the jam okay all right and all of that over there back off into the amen corner i don't know if you won't even be able to see all that but i know you can see the hawaiian silky because i'm looking at that but all those are like sprays that i use to moisturize my hair with so all those over there is basically like my moisturizers that i use some of them uh, I still use and a lot of them I don't. I just have all of them there because they was in my cabinet and right now I wasn't throwing them away right now. I'm still deciding because I might find somebody who I can give it to. I just don't want to toss something and then later on find out, oh well I could have gave this to so and so. X, Y, and Z could have used it. Okay. Yeah, so that is the way I have my closet stacked up. So I will show you Okay, so here, remember when I told you that I had somewhere else that I like to stack shampoo and I will get into that later? Well, here it is. I'm going to get into it now while I have this thing in my sight and in my mind, okay? This is my little uh, so-called caddy. I take this with me either into the bathroom and by I have an upstairs, downstairs house. As you can see, I have a set of stairs, okay? I have to have, to me, it's just more convenient to have products where it's, you know, I'm easy to get them somewhere. So I usually have some conditioner in here that I use, shampoo, whatever I'm going to use, my big combs, my clips. I usually have some, a lot of everything that I know I'm going to use inside of this, excuse this, but it really is going to need to be in there. But it's some things that's in here I know that don't even need to be in there. So you know how that goes. Kids have stuff and throw in this. I mean, what is this doing in there? A black plastic bag. Okay, come on now. Okay, but here is like my denim and brush, and I have my little scrunchies and some clips, but I also have clips somewhere else as well. So, yeah, so this is like my shampoo caddy or where I can just put in whatever shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to use and take it to wherever I am going to do my hair. So, the next place that I usually do my hair in is the bathroom. Either I will shower my hair with in this shower and um, I, and most of the time when I am up, this is where I basically do all my tutorials at too. So, hey. And this is a lot of the time this be somewhat of my little so-called setup. But right there you can see my go-to spray bottle. Every time in every video I usually do when I'm doing a tutorial, if I'm up here doing my own hair, I usually use that spray bottle. And there is my aloe vera. Um, gel that I use all the time and there's the mirror that I be using so I pretty much have my stuff on a kind of what you would call organized situation going on here and I will always keep this pick in the bathroom as well as well as this thing right here this thing I come to find out this is a massage brush y'all but it is good for shampooing but I use this thing also to detangle my hair with great too okay so the next thing is here is my sons and my curling irons this is where i basically keep them in i have this pretty much organized as you can see guys i've been busy organizing stuff for you so that way you can see how i do it but this was already pretty much organized but this is where i keep my curling iron you can see there's a curling iron and this thing right here i don't even need it it wasn't what i thought it was for so it's just been there i bought it from sally's made about a good three or four years ago and that's really where it's been that is this right here is just some couple of old clipper kits with the guards and stuff inside of these little containers okay and this over here is just where i keep a lot of my hair accessories and my blow dryer is in here now this is the only blow dryer that i have in which i cannot do no diffusing or anything with this um i had got this blow dryer from sharper image and i've had this blow dryer i've got this blow dryer at 94 or 95 and this blow dryer still works and that was during a time when I also had a relaxer so every comb or whatever is on the shape like this so you just about imagine and now sharper image I don't know if they out of business but it's really hard to uh, locate one of them to even replace um, you know like the little gadget that comes with the excuse that hair I didn't even know that was even there but this is like the little brush that came with the
blow dryer and um, yeah so it's not even in business anymore to where I could go and purchase me another comb so that is where I keep a lot of stuff I got some rollers in there here is the um, I don't know what this thing is somebody told me it was something to straighten your hair with I don't know but here is curl rods I mean I got a little bit of everything in here here is a car mixture kit for those who do relaxers, this is the little kit that they use to, um, you know, with the mixing bowl and the little brushes that you use, the applicator brushes and clips. That's what's all inside of here. This is just a old, some old clippers and stuff like that in here. See, I had three sons, so hey, I was on the ball when it came down to cutting hair. Alright, so yeah, so here's another thing, like I said, I do use to wash my hair with. And as I can see, it's all tangled up inside of this stupid thing but this thing right here is where you hook up to your sink and you could use that to wash your hair with like downstairs in your kitchen or your basement or wherever you choose to wash your hair at but yeah just some more stuff this is like where you got beads and maybe little uh combs and maybe some more guards and clippers curling irons uh here goes the rubber part to it okay so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and fix that and put it back but um yeah i know it was in there i also even have a timer to whereas if you're going to time your hair doing something. But yeah, this is how I pretty much have all my accessories, curling irons and stuff. Because I stuff that I'm not even really using anymore. So I just had them inside these little containers. And yeah, so that was pretty much organized right there. So stay tuned for some more. Okay, guys, and here is another organizational thing that I also has when it comes down to storing things. Like I had said, I have a two-story two story size house to where yeah i'm not going to feel like ripping and running up and down these steps every time i need something so this is what i decided to do i got this out of dollar general i believe for like five bucks it's just like one drawer i wish i should have got two or found one that where it was connected all together but this is where i also stores a lot of stuff as far as combs clips brushes uh, and what have you because most of the time i do be down here doing my hair and yeah i need to have easy access to stuff so most of my stuff does be inside of this little drawer and lastly guys this is really it once again i told you this is where i usually be doing my hair so this is the downstairs of the home and um this is where i store a lot of my oils um, and different um, things like that for my hair on this little lazy daisy that is this little caddy here is just where my son uh, me and him uses to put pens magic markers and so forth and so on in but a lot of my little oils like rosemary oil my peppermint oils I usually pretty much castor oil I keep them inside of this along with my vitamins and what you know, what not okay and I also have my little doohickey bottles to where I want to mix up whatever oil concoction um, I usually have them sitting right there, okay, and as I told you guys, I do have spray bottles all over the place, and these are particular spray bottles that I have uh, sitting right here, so yeah, so, and then this is my uh, petroleum jelly, and I use that for my body, and sometimes my hair too, if I feel like it, okay, but that was it, so anyone that watches this video, you are tagged. Um, so I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Um, keep God number one in your heart, soul, and mind. And God bless. Bye.